How's it going guys? Got a lot to go over in this video. A sequel RPG just announced a game that I've talked a bit about on this channel, one of the more underrated RPGs that's been released over the last few years, and one that appeared on PlayStation Plus, that being Greedfall. We now have a follow-up. It's been announced and it's coming in 2024. Greedfall 2 The Dying World. We'll go over all the information that Spiders has rolled out about that. Techland is developing a AAA open world fantasy action RPG with former CDPR staff. We don't know a name, we don't have any gameplay, we just got some concept artwork, but we'll talk about that as well. Spirit T, pretty cool game here that I think you guys should know about, Rural Life RPG. Shatter is getting a remaster, and we'll get to that at the end of this video. But first up, Greedfall 2 The Dying World has been announced for consoles and PC. Now, consoles weren't specified, however, given that it's coming in 2024, I don't know, that to me sounds like a time period where the PS4 is going to be mostly phased out, but I might be wrong about that. It was noted, we are very excited to reveal Greedfall 2 to everyone, the new game from Spiders. Many fans across the world were begging for this sequel, and we are delighted to be publishing this new game that these fans are sure to love. We also hope it'll appeal to new players and all fans of RPGs, great stories, action, and fantasy. While we were working on Steel Rising, that's the other game by Spiders that's out in September, I want to say... Our love of the Greedfall universe never faded, and so we are thrilled to be returning to it. In this new chapter, players will explore the old continent with its bigger and more diverse environments. They will meet new companions and new factions, and I hope they will have unforgettable adventures. The story starts three years before the events of the first game, so... It will be a game that I feel like anybody can, is going to be able to jump into and have a good time with. Noting continuing the winning formula of the first time, Greedfall 2 The Dying World is an RPG that focuses on story and player choice, but also includes new gameplay in the form of more tactical combat and revisits the unique universe created by its predecessor. Now, Greedfall is a game that, again, was available as a PlayStation Plus title. I believe it was the PlayStation 5 version of the game, but... Again, another game a lot of you guys probably have in your library, and it was a pretty solid RPG. Like, whenever I talk about Greedfall, I don't want to, you know, make it out to see uh, seem greater than what it is, but Spiders is a studio that a lot of their games was very much a mixed bag, and honestly, you can, like, tell them progressing as a studio with every game, and I thought Greedfall was by far their best game thus far, and if they build on that in Greedfall 2 and Steel Rising as well, which is coming out later this year, uh, they could be one of, like, the sleeper studios that's putting out some quality stuff. Go play Greedfall, go into it with, you know, your expectations kind of tempered, but I thought it was a relatively good game, you know, around the 7.5 range, but I'm excited to see what they could do in, uh, with Greedfall 2. Just a game that's not gonna be out for quite a while, but... Yeah, we'll see how that turns out uh, in 2024. All right, moving on from that, Techland is developing a AAA open-world RPG. Of course, Techland, Dying Light, Dying Light 2. Uh, they are developing a AAA open-world action RPG set in a fantasy environment with former CD Projekt Red staff, noting, we're very happy with what we have accomplished with Dying Light franchise so far. Moreover, our journey with Dying Light to stay human has, has only just begun as we plan to support the game for at least five years with its scope and size matching, if not exceeding what we have pro provided our community with during post-launch support for its predecessor. At the same time, our ambition is to introduce a brand new IP that is vastly different from what we've been doing the past several years. We want to create a fully next-gen experience, a new fantasy epic set in a sprawling open world, fueled by idea, uh, the skills and experience we have gained as a team over the years, infused with new ideas, passion, and creativity. While we cannot share more details about this project right now, we're all truly invested in it and looking forward to showing it to gamers when the time is right. A lot of this staff was overviewed, and again, you have CD Projekt Red alum working on it, uh, people that have worked on Cyberpunk as well as The Witcher 3. You have people coming over from Ubisoft working on Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Mad Max, uh, people from Arcane Studios, Deep Silver Playground, etc. Uh, this is a game, I mean, it's Techland. We don't know much about it outside of this concept artwork, but given what Techland did with Dying Light 1, and I know not everybody was hot on Dying Light 2, but I still thought Dying Light 2 was a decent game that'll hopefully get much better as, you know, the years progress, as they are going to support the game for five plus years, and, you know, if you were to say that to me without having 
knowledge of what they've done with Dying Light 1. I would find that to be a little hard to believe, but they, they've they been supporting Dying Light 1 since t January of 2015, so I am sure that the support for Dying Light 2 will continue, and I'm sure at some point they'll make a Dying Light 3 as well, because uh, from the looks of it, Dying Light 2 did relatively well from a sales standpoint, and given the content updates that are going to roll out, they're probably going to do a definitive edition, they're probably going to do a complete edition at some point, you know, years down the line, and then that'll spike up sales as well, but Cool to see them doing a new IP, and them doing a AAA open world action RPG. New environment, new genre, fantasy setting. Uh, let's see what they can pull out with that. Alright, moving on from that, Rural Life RPG Spirit T is coming to consoles and PC in 2022. Now, this is another game that does not have a specific platform specified, however, uh, I would imagine that this is going to be coming to just about every platform, including like Nintendo Switch. It's not like it's a blowaway game visually, but if you like a throwback visual style, uh, definitely something myself and many others I know can get behind. Spirit Team notes, hey human, we've got problems. This town is crawling with troublesome spirits and you're the only one who can see them. You'd better get that old bathhouse up and running. Maybe that'll help them chill out. The game was first funded on Kickstarter all the way back in early 2020, and the gameplay notes, solving the spirit's problem to remember themselves, they'll need anything from some spicy noodles to finding and digging up their lost treasure, so get your problem, uh, problem solving hat on, making friends with the locals, the townspeople all have their own schedules, likes, dislikes, and hobbies to take part in, managing the bathhouse, you'll need to clean towels, chop wood to heat the bats, and seat the spirits with their friends for the ultimate bathing experience. Upgrade and decorating, yeah, the local shops can make a whole lot of cool furniture and help you fix up overgrown areas of the bathhouse. We should make it big and fancy enough to take on all of the spirits. Then it goes into a lot of information about the bathhouse itself, a lot of details here. And again, this game will be out later in 2022. A relatively unique game, if nothing else. All right, lastly, I do also want to note Shatter is getting a remaster. This came out on the PlayStation 3 as a downloadable title back in 2009, and now we have Shatter Remastered Deluxe. That's coming to PS5, Xbox Series, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Relive the award-winning classic that redefined a genre. Shadow returns in stunning 4K resolution, running at 120 frames per second with a modernized user interface and multiple visual improvements. Re-experience the highly acclaimed original soundtrack remixed and remastered in 5.1 surround sound. Shattered Remastered Deluxe brings the brick-breaking action back. You've got 10 worlds in the game as well. Uh, visually a pretty simplistic game, however, I think the visual style works, and if you're a fan of arcade titles, uh, some to be on the lookout for uh surprised that they are bringing this back but hey more power to them i think this is something that given that they priced it accordingly at 9.99 uh it could be something people check out if nothing else it's an arcade title people can add to their wish list and uh buy it when it does go on sale at around the five dollar range but nonetheless i think that 9.99 price tag already is pretty solid but that's gonna do it for me yeah let me know your thoughts on greedfall 2's announcement if you have not played the first game probably in your library from your playstation plus subscription go check that out techland working on a triple a open world fantasy rpg rural life rpg in spirit t that's coming as well and shatter is getting a remaster that'll be coming in late 2022 that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.